uh, dimensions of leadership required within environmental management. Uh, from the Northwest University, we have a whole set of expertise here available, uh, and uh, you'll hear from some of the experts that we have here in studio today. We also welcome, uh, welcomed uh, uh, by a colleague of ours from Namibia, uh, and we would like to welcome him a little bit later on as well. So we have a bit of an international flavor added to it. Uh, all right, so what we'll do is I'll introduce our panel uh, to you in a short while, uh, and then we'll, we'll get a bit of a, perspectives, a perspective on con conservation leadership and futures thinking. We'll have a bit of a discussion on it, and uh, we'll see uh, what exactly it entails. And uh, if you stick with us and you're interested in, in postgraduate studies, of course, within this field, we'll tell you all about that at the end of the webinar. So let me start by introducing uh, an esteemed panel uh, uh, full of experts and, and, I mean, just looking in their eyes, you can already see it. Uh, I'd like to start, they're all in, 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 more, in greater and lesser uh, capacity uh, uh, involved with the unit of environmental science and management uh, uh, at the Northwest University. Let me start with uh, Professor Francois Retief over there. Uh, Francois, welcome. Francois uh, has done a bit of his own touring in the world and so on, but he's an esteemed uh, uh, academic, C1 rating, over 100 uh, uh, publications. He does extremely well in uh, the effectiveness of various environmental policy instruments and so on. That's his field of, of, of expertise. Francois, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Peter. All right, then right next to him, you see Dr. Rees uh, Albert. Uh, Dr. Rees, uh, thank you so much for being with us. You're also in, in a very similar field than uh, uh, Francois as well, but of course doing a lot of work into the future uh, thinking and and leadership in conservation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Kip. Great to be here. And we are so blessed to have uh, a lady amongst the gents uh, here today, Dr. Claudine Ruiz. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, also an esteemed researcher, focusing a little bit on waste management, I believe, uh, but she's also in, involved in the uh, master's program uh, at the Northwest University. Thank you so much Thank for you, being Kip, here. Yeah. Thanks for okay, the Claudine. And, and then, uh, right next to me, we have Professor Dirk Salhia. Uh, now, he's, uh, uh, he, sits with, with, he sits basically on two chairs, because you're into the environmental thing, but then also geography, and the two uh, go together quite nicely, right? They go together very nicely. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dirk. Thank you for, for being here. And then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Namibia, uh, Professor Morgan Hauflisch. Uh, Morgan, it's nice to have you with us. Thanks very much. It's great to be with you. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, Morgan is, uh, is uh, from the uh, Namibia University of Science and Technology, and uh, he, he leads uh, the uh, Biodiversity Research Center. So, uh, Morgan, it's nice to, to have you with us. We'll, we'll hear some more uh, from him a little bit later on. And then I hear that John uh, Kasoana, Kasoana, John Kasoana. John, are you with us? Yes, thank you very much. John. Good morning to all. Yes. Yeah, it's wonderful to, to have.